Okay, so I'll be reviewing my experience with target test prep today um, in preparation for the GRE, which I took about four months ago or three months ago. Um, so for some background, my name is Jason. I'm a senior undergraduate student here at Duke um, in North Carolina. I am looking to apply to deferred MBA programs. And as you know, those programs require um, some sort of test. So it's either the GMAT or the GRE. I personally found the GRE was more suitable for my needs and I'm, I was more accustomed to taking a test like that. So I decided to go with it. Um, in terms of the timeline, I realized I needed to take the GRE about midway through 2023. So I started looking into it um, in July and then I looked at prep materials in like August and then I bought TTP's test course because I saw a lot of things online that said it was good. Um, and I bought that around end of August, but then I didn't actually start using it until end of September slash early October because I was uh, caught up with some other things at school. And as a senior, there's a lot of other things that I was taking care of. Um, but I, I think I started seriously studying around like late October. And there was a period of a month where I was studying. Um, basically, I just woke up every single day and I only did GRE related stuff. And TTP was a huge part of that. Um, so specifically what I recommend about TTP is the quant section. I think the quant section is like more than enough than one for what you need for the test. And honestly, after having gone through other materials such as GMAT club, um, or even like Greg Matt, all that stuff, I don't think the quant, um, materials they offer are nearly as comprehensive and it kind of feels more like of a ragtag DIY approach versus TTP's approach, which is, um, definitely super comprehensive. And if you learn it in the order they present to you, uh, I don't think you have to do anything on top of that. It's just doing their practice qu test questions. Um, I honestly didn't even do that many practice questions that GRE did or um, that TTP offered like in their test bank. I just did the questions that um, were in the easy, medium, hard levels or whatever. I just did a few mediums or every single topic until I felt like I grasped the content. And if you've taken like... Uh, any sort of quantitative materials before, perhaps in high school or college. Um, I feel like if you've taken up to like calculus or something, like it should mostly just be review, um, which that was at least my experience. So um, regarding the actual like GRE mock test and the final GRE score, I scored a 330 on the GRE in December of 2023 with a 6.0 on the AWA um, or the writing assessment. Uh, and then regarding mock tests, I actually... I don't recommend this approach, but I was really busy and I was on the road a lot of the times during November and December. So I came home for about a span of three weeks. And for the first week, I just decided I'm going to get this GRE stuff over with. And so I didn't actually take a mock test until three days before the exam. Um, I took two mock tests, uh, both of which you can buy on ETS's website, uh, the, the short version, at least since the GRE was switched, the GRE switched formats like last year. I got a 336 and a 333. I, to be honest, skipped the writing assessment because I just was too lazy to do it. But um, I just watched a YouTube video for the writing assessment like with the day before the test and then I just, you know, winged it basically. Um, so yeah, like to be very honest with you, I don't think I prepared for the GRE in ways that are like, you know, like I'm not gonna say that I prepared for it the same way other people did where they studied every single thing. I kind of just like winged most of the quant or sorry, most of the verbal and essay preparation. Um, and I felt like that was not something I needed to focus on too much. I just read some example passages and I feel like the prep, the mock tests were my preparation for the actual GRE in terms of verbal and, um, and the essay section. Uh, and yeah, so some more specifics about TTP. I bought it, like I said, uh, late August, I bought the six month plan, which was, um, there was a massive discount at the time. So things like $180 for six months. I did not expect to use it for that long, but um, in terms of actually using it, I think I used it intensely from late October to early December. So for about a month. Um, and that's all I did. I, I actually spent more time preparing for quant than verbal for sure. And then with some other questions, like how did TTV help you, um, in achieving your score and stuff like that. Like I said, it's very comprehensive. I feel like if you do enough of the math questions on there, then there's really not that much of a surprise. Like I feel like ETS is really good at making questions look different, but they're really just testing the same fundamental principles. So as long as you understand those principles and you have a decent sense of time management, it should not be that big of an issue. And yeah, 
um any personal advice i have to give i think um just be patient with it especially if you're in my situation where you're an undergrad um and you're looking to take these tests for like deferred programs or you know what what have you like i think it's always like i realize now that like people online before i even started taking the test were just like take this test now while you're in college like don't do it when you're a full-time employee um i cannot agree more even though i'm you know not graduated yet at this point in time like i can't imagine studying for that that intensely um or even having the energy to care that much if i was working a full-time job and given that the score is valid for five years i think it's just like objectively you know like a net positive to take it in college when you still have time especially when you're a senior and you don't have like that many course work related stuff going on um so definitely do that and then i think be patient with it I think like I mean, from my personal experience, like I've taken the SAT before and um, a lot of the, after getting into the groove of studying for the uh, for the GRE, sorry, like the test prep, I, I found that like my habits for studying the SAT basically just like kicked in. And um, if you've taken other standardized tests before in the past, uh, it shouldn't be that different. Obviously, the material is a bit harder and it requires more critical thinking. But I think like if you've scored well on the SAT, like it, it like they, they probably have resources out there saying, you know, how SAT score correlates with GRE score and stuff like that. But I just think it's like, if you put in the same amount of effort, you can, if you did it once, you can definitely do it again. So yeah, just be patient with it. I think give yourself like a three month timeline, but like add in an extra month in case, you know, you have stuff coming on um, and like, you know, you're not able to study through GRE and stuff. But yeah, that's essentially it. I recommend TTP a lot. Uh, everyone online says TTP is like superior in, in their quant content. I wholeheartedly agree with that um, honestly i'm probably not the best person to ask for verbal prep or essay prep i just never really thought that would be that big of an issue on the test um then obviously you know like i'm a native speaker and stuff so like with that, i guess that came more naturally but yeah uh hopefully this is helpful 